Hey, what's up guys, ZAPEX Sound, and this is part two of Game of Thrones episode three. Um, thank you for the support on the first one, it was awesome, there was the dragon, we were at the wall, we swore our vows. It was insane, it was crazy, it was awesome. Now let's get stuck into part two, we're probably going to be going to King's Landing soon, I imagine we haven't been there yet in this episode. I heard this episode is a little longer than the last one, though. the last one was pretty short, uh, the first couple were pretty short actually. I've heard this one is a little longer, so we will see. Um... Uncle Duncan has just asked us the unthinkable to desert the Night's Probably Watch. Like little, little shards or something. Why so? Like a weapon? Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, We're going up, Brett. Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. It's a family matter. I'd just as soon keep it private. So it's secret then? It looked like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. Right, let's go. <coughs> Move out. Hopefully there's like something with Jon Snow where we leave anyway, and then we can kind of just sneak off without anyone noticing that we deserted the Night's Watch, you know, because I don't want to leave the wall forever. I want to come back. Kind of similar thing to Jon Snow where he got off, went off and done his own thing. Well, he was kind of always with the wall, but, you know, similar sort of thing. Gary Tuttle is basically the Jon Snow of, uh, <laughs> of House Forrester. He's not part of it, but, um... There are so many guests already arriving. Here we are, King's Landing. I thought we'd go in there soon. Have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. We have no. some shit going on with Marjorie and we're Tyrion. We're lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden, but in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. I'm the sure wedding. it will be a wedding for the ages, Sarah. I've been to say wedding, baby. what I told you about my family. I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always <coughs> help you too. Hold on, look. I hope we get to see Joffrey. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Sarah? Marjorie's so busy. I can't just wait for her to find a match for me. Please, just don't tell Marjorie. <laughs> that little creeper. <laughs> No, I shouldn't be here. But we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Not out here! You're putting us both in danger. I couldn't risk waiting. I needed to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh! Shit. They already know he's missing. Probably dead. <laughs> Questioning people. Searching for his body. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. <clears throat> no one will know what you did. They wouldn't want to either. What? What is it? If we're gonna survive this... What if they find his knife? I threw it away, and there was blood on it. Oh. Oh, no. You do not want to get caught looking for it. 
just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll I'll watch your back. Cool boy has got our back. We're in this together now. Why are you helping me? What do you mean? I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. We help each other, or it's both our heads. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. How will they know it's me? I don't they Mira. doubt they have fingerprints back here. My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy. Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. <laughs> he sees me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. Was good you can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, first right. of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate. Festivals. Interesting. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I Bastards. trust you've chosen all the standards, but just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace, my lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we. What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I. Uh, if you're going your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I. You should finish what you start. Your Grace, we must do as Our Lady commands us. If Marjorie has need of us during the wedding, the then... The King's safety is more important than straightening your lady's gown. The I King's gonna die anyway, so fuck you, Cersei. <laughs> whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the King. She said she'd serve the King, yet now she puts your needs first. I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go unchecked. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion. What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. Tyrion... He offered to help my family. He did? Then surely he expects something in return. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? My family needs me. We're losing everything. I have to do whatever I can to help them. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira. But your problems are not the only ones in the world. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Shit, son. Marjorie is not impressed with our performance. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Fuck. There's been like zero gameplay so far, huh? <laughs> 
Oh, against that dragon, there's a little bit of QTEs. But... I mean, Roderick, we're back with Roderick, baby. Back in Iron Wrath for the first time this episode. Gotta love Roderick. He's a boss. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower in our own house. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Roiland meet me in the courtyard. Fucking bastards. I hate these White Hills, man. They're just making trouble for us every goddamn night. Every day. We'll get our revenge. Fucking Ramsey Snow. What a prick, man. What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. <laughs> What is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> what a piece of garbage. Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword. Oh, that's his son, isn't it? Fat boy's son. All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth born son of Lord Lud Whitehill and commander of this garrison. If he asked me to bend Roderick the knee, I'm not. Used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, hey, Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognise you, but the name fits, don't it? Make no mistake, Griff. I'm still the Lord of Ironrath, and I run this house. That sounds like the old Roderick beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live. But not us. I don't care if you're happy or not, you'll quarter what I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? Your men aren't fucking guests. We'll get what I give them and be thankful for it. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the king's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roose Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... You're here to keep watch on your soldiers. That's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening. This guy's a piece of garbage. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick, you can't let them do this. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. I just press stop them and he does nothing. Okay. That didn't work out too well, guys, huh? That's chapter three, done and dusted. God damn pricks, man. Griff hate them White Hills. That's not those fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. 
soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, that's clearly what he wants. We can't go to war within our own walls. Whatever we do, we have to be careful. True. We do have to be careful because they have a bigger army the than us. beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? That's true, they have our brother. We can't let them forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. I will not give them an excuse to kill my brother. Have to save our brother. We get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the White Hills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. Speak true. Would you just let Ryan die? No, my lord. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asha and Mira. How? Asha means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But Come on, Asha! We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come, but it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare and men to train. My lord? There's gonna be a war, I cannot wait for that. Can I get a hell yeah? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter. The very same. After the hells that came from her and Nasha. Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Do you think she can be trusted? It's possible she has other motives. But it's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it, and I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Okay. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point. I when doubt it. Comes. Is her dad a complete dick to her or something? I doubt she'd help us otherwise, right? Right, let's see where we're going next.
Loading. Long loading. Must be loading pretty awesome place. I'd say we're probably going back to Asher now, no? I want the dove pie served oh. with a spoon of lemon. The wedding. Cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. Right, we will be doing the wedding in the next part, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to hit it with a big like. We'll be back for Joffrey and Marjorie's wedding. I hope we actually get to see the wedding and get to see Joffrey and the likes of um, Tywin and stuff like that. But I actually doubt that we're going to see them. It would be incredibly awesome, though. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next part very soon. Mahalo.